Hi, focus your mind. My name is Kimberly. Today I will present you my project. Today I want to talk about a fundamental issue that affects your lives. Emotion regulation. You ever feel like your emotions are keen of driving the bus making you act a certain way? Well, that's what we're changing about. Emotion regulation is a cool skill, basically about figuring out how to handle our emotions. When we get good at it, it helps our headspace, makes our relationship stronger, and even about how well we done in different parts of the life. On the flip side, ignoring this can cause issues. I will help you by giving you tips. First, recognition. Take a moment to identify and label your emotion. Are you feeling stress, sadness, joy? Recognizing what you're feeling is the first step to manage your emotion. Second, deep breathing. Practice deep breathing to calm yourself. Inhale slowly through your nose. Hold your breath for a few seconds and exhale gently. This can help reduce stress and clear your mind. Third, time for you. Spend time on activities that relax you and make you happy. Whether it's reading, listening to music, exercise, or anything else you enjoy, self-care is essential for emotion balance. Talk, talk about your emotions. Sharing if your feeling with close friends or family members can be liberating. Sometimes express what you're feeling out loud can help you better understand your emotion. So, how do we get good at handling emotion? It's tied to something valued, emotional, intelligent. Pause. I will tell you what emotional intelligent is. Emotional intelligent is the ability to recognize understand and manage our emotions as well as those of others it involves being aware of how we feel regulating those emotions effectively and having empathy that is understanding other people's emotions in addition emotion intelligent influences our social interactions and how we handle stress in short, it is about being emotionally aware and competent in our relationships and decisions. But just understanding and daily with our feelings. People who are good at this stuff to handle challenges better. Nothing sinks when stress is creeping in and also tricks to deal with it can really help keep our mental health check. <laughs> Now I will give you an example. Imagine you are working on an important project and things are not going as expected. You may feel frustrated or stressed. This is where emotional regulation comes into play. Instead of letting those emotions overwhelm you, you could take a step back. Take a deep breath and think about how to approach the problem in a calmer way. You could take to a college or friends to gain additional perspectives or take a short break to clear your mind. By applying these little tricks, you're managing our emotions to make clear decisions and maintain a positive work environment. That's how emotional regulation can make a difference in everyday life. But it's not just about us, it's also a big deal in how we connect with others. Beijing good at handling emotions helps us express ourselves while understanding what others are going through. I will now give you an example of how you can help your close friends to control their emotions. Imagine that a friend of yours is going through a difficult time. Prepare to stay had a stressful day at work. This is where you can help with emotional regulation. Instead of simply ignoring their situations, you could reach out and express empathy, saying something like, you seem to be going through a difficult time. Do you want to talk about? 
actively listening and offering support can be comforting. You could uh, suggest relaxing activities or positive distractions to help them shift their focus and relieve stress. Your understanding and supportive attitude can make all the difference in helping your friends manage their emotions in a healthier way. This is a practical example of how emotional regulation amplifies not only to own self, but also to how we can contribute to the emotional well-being of others. Studies even say that folks who handle emotions will tend to have healthier. They are good at taking things out, solving problems, and supporting their friends. Let's think about this in school or at work. Being chill and smart about emotions help us face challenge, make good change and work well with others. Research says that people who can handle stress and anxiety tend to do better in school. Now I'll give you another example. Imagine you are working on a school project with a group of classmates. Things are little things because they are different opinions on how to approach the project. This is where emotional regulation can make a big difference. Instead of giving carried away with frustration or stress, you could suggest a short pause for everyone to take a deep breath and reconsider ideas. You could express your those in a calm manner and listen to others' opinions. By managing emotion in this environment, you contribute to a more positive and collaborative environment, which, according to research, can lead to private academic performance. To wrap it up, Henley or emotion isn't just about feeling good personality. It's a big part of making our society work well. It's like a guide for growing personality and having awesome relationships. So, as we navigate the sea of emotions, let's work on getting good at this skill, not just understanding it but actively making it a part of who we are. Doing that, we're building a path to a stronger kinder and more successful life. Before the end, I want to thank all the people who were in my stay in focus, especially Coach Milton and Mr. Javi. I will miss them very much. With this I end the project. Thank you very much for listening to me.